The scenario block in RISE 360 is a great way to build an immersive learning experience where you can kind of lean forward into the content a bit. So let's look at how it works and then we're just going to build it from scratch so you can kind of see what it's going to be like if you start to build it. All right, so we're going to go into RISE. If you're not familiar with RISE at all, we're just going to walk through it as if you've never used it. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you're in RISE 360. The domain is just going to be rise.articulate.com and you just need to be signed in. We're going to click on Create New and we're going to do a new course. Now you've got all this starter content you could start with if you want to. Uh, we're just going to start with a blank course. I'm going to add my blank course and then I'll get my course here. And I'm just going to go demo is my title. right? If I had a description I could put that in here. We're just going to do scenario demo for our lesson. Hit enter and now I can start to add my content. I'm going to click on that and we'll choose blank lesson. Now if you've never used Rise you're going to see this quick access bar. You know, I can add text and then you can see how it kind of goes under. Maybe I want some bullet points. Now if you want to access the additional blocks you're going to go to all blocks right here. Click on that and that's going to open up your block library and then you can see all the different types of blocks available to you. The scenario block is in the interactive so we're going to click on that. You can see all these different types of interactions and here's the scenario block. And then when you insert the block, RISE is going to create kind of the start of a scenario with some placeholder content. We're going to look at that but then we're, we'll delete that and start from scratch and add our own content real quick. All right, so let's preview what we have so you can see how it works. I'm going to click on preview. First thing you'll notice it's responsive so the scenario or the RISE course itself will respond to different devices. We're going to keep it in desktop mode just so we can see it. So I'm going to scroll down and there's my scenario. And we'll talk about the structure of the scenario. It's pretty simple. So you have a scenario and then within a scenario you have scenes. In this case the scene is going to be made up of a character and a background. So we've got our character, we've got a background. You have access to characters. So you've got a number of characters you can choose. And then you can upload your own background image if you want to. You can search content library for a background image that works for you. Um, sometimes people don't put a background. So what they'll do is do a solid color. So if like your course is uh, plain white, if you uploaded an image of just a plain white image then it looks a little bit more seamless. So if you don't want a background that's a picture you don't need to use that. But you could upload uh, any type of image that you want. All right, so when you have a scenario uh, and you've got your scenes and you're going to start adding content to the scenes, essentially you're going to add content. When you add the content it could be one of two types. It could be text. In this case this is text content. So it's just going to be this block here with text in it. And then you can see there's a continue button. And you can choose to have the character in there or not. And then the other type of content, if we click on this, is going to be your dialogue. And so when you create your dialogue you're going to see you know, what is the character saying. And then you have responses. So you can put a number of responses in there. When I select a response, and we're going to click on, we'll click on this bottom one. When I select a response what's going to happen is I can change the expression of the character. So that gives me some visual prompting. I can see the feedback based on that response. And then I have a next step. So the next step could be the end of the scenario. The next step we could go to another piece of content. In this case the next step is the try again. So I'm going to hit try again. And that takes me back so I can kind of loop back and maybe make a better decision and come in here. And then you can see response from the character, response in text. And then I continue and now I go to another piece of dialogue. So that's how the scenario block works. Let's go ahead and edit that. And we're going to build something from scratch and you'll see how it works. We'll keep it really simple. Um, so like every block that you have in RISE, you're going to see your editing options up here in the top left. We're going to look at content. It's going to open up the scenario block. As you can see here's all the placeholder content that uh, RISE created for me. I'm not going to use that so I'm just going to add my own scene. So I'm going to click on Add Scene. And I'm going to delete the one that's in here. So we hit delete. 
And so now I have a blank scene and we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing is I've got my scene. I like to title my scenes. So let's do something simple. You're going to you're working in a production environment. You have to learn about forklifts at the loading dock. And then we'll have another scene where you're going to learn about safety inside of a warehouse. So we've got our first scene. We're just going to call this loading dock. Right. And then I'm going to choose a background or let me choose a character first. We're in a production environment. Let me go ahead and choose Andrea here and she's going to be your trainer. And then we can change your poses and all that. We'll choose the background. Well, I could upload an image. Uh, in this case, I'm going to search content library. You know, some images probably don't work like the mountaintop, right? So we're in a warehouse. So let's go ahead and look for a warehouse and see what we have. I saw a loading dock image that worked for me. Oh, here's one. So we'll choose that one. I've got my loading dock. So I've got my character. I've got my image. We put a little bit of a blur on there. So the image is really just to give you some visual context. So it's not going to be super specific. And then now we need to add content. So again, you have a scenario. Scenario is made up of scenes. So you can add scenes up here, right? And then if you want to add content, you can add content there. So we're going to click on add content. And it already started with some content. So when we have content, you've got two types. If you come over here to the top right, you can choose text or you can choose dialogue. Usually at the beginning of the scenario, I like to add text. So like an introduction. So I know this is my loading dock and we can say welcome to the loading dock training, loading dock safety. All right. Training. All right. And then you can say, hi, I'm Sally your trainer and whatever you want to put in there. You'll notice there's a character count, so you can't have more than 200 characters in here. One thing I recommend, don't try to write these on the fly because you're going to see it really starts to get confusing. I usually recommend that people write all that stuff out in a document and also make sure you have a, the right character count uh, for that particular area. So like in this case, I only got 200. If I have 205 and I copy and paste it, it won't paste in because it's too many characters. So make sure that you are tracking your character count. And the reason there's a limit on characters is because it just wouldn't look right. It would break if you had 10,000 characters in there. So there's a limit to what you can put in that dialogue. All right. So we've got our title. We've got Sally. We chose text. Let's preview what we have. If we preview this from current. We can see here Sally. Uh, we're going to change her um, position. I don't really like that. I want her to seem more happy. But here's the text, and then here's our next step to continue. Right. So we have to start building that out. So let's change the character, and I'll just uh, make her happy. So she's glad that you're there. If we preview this, you can see now. We've got the character change. One other thing is sometimes you may want to give feedback in between. So you may not want to have the character, but maybe you want to have some feedback. Uh, you could turn the character off. And then if you preview this, you can see how that looks without a character. All right, so we're going to turn the character on. Then I have to figure out what do I want to do after uh, you are on that piece of content. We're going to go next in scene. So we're going to add new content, which we have here. And let's this let's make this dialogue. She wants to know if you're if you are if you know forklift safety, if you know forklift stuff, right? So we're going to make sure we have our dialogue. And we'll add the question here. So um, are you familiar with the forklift safety? All right. If you are, well, let's change her to asking. If you are, then we're going to take you to the next scene. If you aren't, then we're going to ask you a bunch of questions about safety. All right. So we'll say, yes, I know everything. Hit enter. That's my response. 
She's going to be glad she doesn't have to teach you, so she's going to be happy. And then we'll go to another place. So she's going to say, great. You can skip to the warehouse. All right, and then we'll jump to a warehouse. We'll have to build that. Here we'll say, no, I am just getting started. She's going to not be happy. She's going to be kind of confused. I thought we only hire, I thought we only hire experienced people. You'll need to answer some safety questions. All right, or whatever you want the scenario to be. And again, you can see the character count, and then we'll need to send that somewhere. Let's see what we have so far. Again, if we preview this from the beginning. Hi, welcome to the scenario. Boom. Hey, are you familiar with forklift safety? Yes, that'll send you to a scene. So we click on it, yes. She's going to say, hey, great, you can skip to the warehouse. That would continue. If we chose the other one, she would say, okay, no, you need to take the questions, right? So, okay, so we know we have a warehouse scene. Let's go ahead and add another scene so you can see how that works. I'm going to add a scene. And let's say in this one, this will be our warehouse, right? So I like titling the scene so I know what they are. We're going to change the character. Maybe Craig is doing the training in the warehouse. We're going to change the background. Let's go ahead and search content. We're going to do warehouse again. Oops, make sure I type that right. And we'll just grab this one. This looks this looks fine. And then we would repeat this process. So we would say, we're just gonna, we're not gonna add a bunch of dialogue in here. So what we're gonna do is we'll add new content and um, we'll uh, Let's just go ahead and put some text and we'll say warehouse training. Hi, I'm Craig. I'll uh, ask you about warehouse safety. Something like that. Okay. And then you know, you'd continue through that and we'll have him talking. And then we would just continue from that, right? We're not going to build this all out for the for this video. But you can see I've got my loading dock stuff. We come in here and then we would continue the scenario. Uh, so uh, when you, she welcomes you, you come to your dialogue. I know everything. Okay, skip to the warehouse. This is where I can set my branching. And you can see I'll be able to branch anywhere I want to in the course. And you can see you can add content dynamically. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to branch to the warehouse training. And in this one, I'm just getting started. We're going to create a dynamic um, uh, content. So we're going to click on it and we'll just do new content. We're going to choose a dialogue. And then you can say, um, let's ask a question. This is, this is question one. And we're going to add that to the loading dock. Okay, so now I can, I've got that. I built my branch as I'm going along. Then I would come into the particular dialog and we'll just have her asking. And we'll do um, good question, just so you can see at that she's going to be happy and then you would go to maybe the warehouse if you're done and we'll say bad question All right we'll give you some feedback she's not going to be happy she's going to be stressed because you don't know it in this case we're going to say um, that's not correct try again Think about it, try again. And then we're going to choose try again, and that'll loop it back. So now we got something pretty simple, right? So let's go ahead and preview this from the beginning. And then you can see how it works. So I've got my beginning of the scenario. Hi, I'm Zell. 
Sally, train you. Come in here. Are you familiar with forklift safety? Nope, I'm just getting started. Okay, I thought you were only hired new people. Okay, let's go through it. All right, I'm going to ask you a bad question. I'm going to ask you a question. You give me a bad answer. Uh, that's not right. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and try it again. And then I can ask it again. And you get that. Okay, good job. And now we're going to continue and you're going to end up at the warehouse. And, um, and then we would, we would start. Uh, we would have some continued dialogue in there. That's basically it. Um, a couple things I'll point out. I'll show you something real quick. So I created this scenario and I'll show you under the hood what it looks like. So we've got this dialogue. So I, what I did in this scenario, I introduced Rosinda Gallo. She's this HR person. And then um, we click through here. You'll notice that I go through. Now I've got another scenario. This is Tony. So I get the scenario with Tony. And you can see how I'm using the text box to give you some information. And then I go back to another scene with the HR person who's going to set up the instruction. And then I go back to another scene. And then you can have your question and answer with Tony. And you make a decision. And then I give you some feedback. And then we continue. And then we go through that. So you can use the scenarios a number of ways. Um, a lot of things you can do with it. There could be scenarios. You could use them as like a ungraded quiz if you want to. Uh, you can use it. You know, so I've seen some people use it instead of bullet points. They have this content. You click on it and you kind of navigate through it. But uh, a lot of different ways you can use it. Uh, the next thing I would recommend is open up Rise 360, insert a scenario, just play around with it. You can't break anything. Then if you have questions, go to your dashboard. You'll see the 360 training. Make sure you come to Rise and just do on demand training. And if you type in scenario, hit enter, you're going to see we've got uh, more detail on working with the scenario. We've got just general ideas about scenarios, you know, regardless of the tool. And then in various quick tips and tricks, uh, we have things on a scenario. So, for example, if I click on here and then I go into here, you'll see. Um, where the scenario information is in there. So create animated chat bubble states for scenario conversation. So that may not be uh, this scenario, but it might be something specific to uh, building scenarios. All right, so that's basically it. Hope you enjoy that. And uh, if you have questions, you can always jump in the community and we can help you out.